We are gathered here to celebrate the marriage of Matthew Fisher, Jennifer Griffin. It isn't long ago that these words could have easily been overlooked. It's worth repeating. We are gathered here today. That phrase is important for a variety of reasons. There was a time not long ago that gathering together seemed impossible, and days like today were easily taken for granted. And events of the past few days have made it all the more special that we're here and in this sunshine all of a sudden. <laughs> Many think the most striking thing about Jennifer is her beauty, but it's actually the combination of her beauty set against a backdrop of being the absolute biggest dork imaginable. Here's the thing about Matt. Much like his feline fur babies, he's himself a bit of a cat. Not really immediately friendly or excited or even particularly interesting. But once you put in the time and the effort, he's one of the most caring, loyal, and genuine people you'll ever meet, even if you do end up with a few scratches along the way. Jen bubbles and bounces and boils over. She hoped that someday she would find her person who would balance her, who would help her find calm in the chaos who would help still the storm. Matt, we've had a few years to get to know you. We've seen you help calm the chaos that life throws at y'all. We've seen how well you two balance each other. I'm so hopeful for the history that the two of you are going to create together. So please join me in raising a glass to Matt and Jen. Let me not to the marriage of true minds admit impediments. Love is not love which alters when it alteration finds, or bends with the remover to remove. Oh no, it is an ever fix it mark that looks on tempest and is never shaken. It is the star to every wandering bark, whose worse unknown though his height be taken. Love's not time's fool, though rosy lips and cheeks within his bending sickle's compass come. Love alters not with his brief hours and weeks, but bears it out even to the edge of doom. If this be error and upon me proved, I never writ, nor no man ever loved. I think I'm fine. I might need someone to lean on Maybe that somebody is you You could be my parachute Matt, throughout the years we've experienced so, so much together. Almost 21 concerts, 9 countries, 12 weddings, 1 global pandemic, and now 1 hurricane. In so many ways time has absolutely flown. But in so many others, I feel like I've known you my entire life. <gasps> oh my god, you look amazing. <laughs> Jennifer Page Griffin, <laughs> I am so deeply in love with you. I'll start with the obvious. You are brilliant, you are funny, you are kind, you are compassionate, you are resilient. And you are devoted to our cats to an almost alarming degree. <laughs> it also goes without saying, you are beautiful. You look absolutely stunning today. But I'm sorry to say the dress or the hair or the makeup doesn't really matter to me. If you were lounging in sweatpants on a Sunday morning, I would think you are equally beautiful. You helped keep me grounded, but you encouraged me to dream. And you've shown me a different side to so many things that I never would have known without you. You've also shown me that loving someone truly and deeply doesn't mean giving up any part of yourself. It means making yourself better. And that's how I feel when you're with me. I promise to encourage you to pursue your curiosities, your love of exploration, your hobbies. I promise to always show you the same kindness that you show for everyone in your life. You set the bar really, really high, but I will strive to always live up to that. 
So Matt, I also promise to tell you my thoughts and feelings and listen just as intently to yours. I promise to honor your love for me by loving myself as well. And in the immortal words of Leslie Nope to Ben Wyatt, I love you, Matt, and I like you. <laughs> I promise to support you to let you become the best Jennifer you can be. I promise you my unlimited devotion. I promise to appreciate every moment we have together. And I vow to never stop loving you. Matt and Jen, you've made your vows before your family and friends and have exchanged rings, promising to love each other for always. It's my honor to pronounce you Matt and Jen, husband and wife. You make this the proud. I want you to know that Claudia, Bob, and Tracy Fisher and I are absolutely delighted to have all of you here. The fact that you are here means that you are our very best friends and closest family. And you guys have incredible courage and faith to weather prospects of potentially disastrous conditions to come to Charleston in support of these two very, very special people. It's amazing. We want to thank everyone who showed up here tonight. It just blows me away to see everyone here today that's put in so much work and so much effort just to be here with us. We love you all so, so, so much. We hope you have an amazing night. To that, we would like to toast everyone here. So when Matt was doing his debate team thing all throughout high school and college, and then they would travel to the Southeast, and in Chicago they don't have Waffle House. Anytime he would come to the Southeast, he would be so excited for Waffle House. So when he finally met a girl from that general region, and he would come and visit my family, and he always wanted to go there. So I finally want him to get his own all-star breakfast, just for himself.
have always been proud of Jennifer, that bright, beautiful, creative, effervescent person that never calls attention to the shortcomings of others and always tries to help them be their best. I am so very proud of that quality in her. But then when I felt like I couldn't be any more proud, I met Matt. Oh my God. Yeah. Here was a young man that is genuinely caring, compassionate, competitive, the three major C's, and brilliantly insightful way beyond his years. His calm restraint and understanding are the perfect balance to Jennifer's enthusiasm and joie de vivre. love to propose a toast to my new daughter and my son and my family and our new family. Congratulations, and we love you so, so very much, and the best to you both. Many here are here to celebrate Matt for the many times that he's been here with a quick word of encouragement, a steady friendship, a selfless act, Matt, you are kind and optimistic, supportive and calming. You provide direction and foundation. You are a landmark and a compass. Your friends and family standing here with you today are stronger for having known you and look to you to guide and to lead. And others here have come to celebrate Jennifer for the incredible many ways that she's kept us all and our lives more interesting, for providing a unique worldview that broadens our horizon. Jen, you are bright and sunny, unique and born to stand out. Matt may set the direction, but you are the wind in the sails. You inspire action and creativity. And if I'm being honest, you make all the introverts here just the right amount of uncomfortable. <laughs> but most importantly, we're here to celebrate the two of you as a couple. Over the years, stories told about you as individuals has given ways to stories of you as a couple. Of your many travels around the world and the moments where small actions and meaningful conversations have made lasting memories. And now we add to this list a very big memory of witnessing the two of you commit yourselves to each other in front of your family and friends. Jen and Matt, you are both great on your own, and much better together. Support each other to maintain what makes you special as individuals and continue to pursue and protect who you are as a couple as you start your marriage together.